Good evening, my name is Caitlin Peters and I am the Marketing and Events Coordinator at the Anti-Cruelty Society. For 111 years, the Anti-Cruelty Society has provided an open door for Chicago's neediest animals. Our mission of building a community of caring by helping pets and educating people is evident in all of our programs and services. Tonight we'll be discussing our fun and at times pet friendly events on this live interactive call-in television program brought to you on CAN TV 21. We invite you to call in with your questions at 312-738-1060. My guest today is Emily Lettergerber. She is the manager of marketing and events at the Anti Cruelty Society. Hello, Emily. Hi, Caitlin. Thanks for you? having me. Good. How are you? Great. Thanks. Good. Now I hear the Anti Cruelty Society is having some pretty creative events lately. We are. We've decided to mix things up and get really creative on everything that we're doing. Very exciting. Um, one of the first, well, one of the more upcoming events is mm -hmm. Paint Your Pet. Isn't that correct? Paint Your Pet is correct. We're really excited. It's actually our, going to be our second Paint Your Pet event. We're working with a company called Bottles and Brushes, who does this for everyone. Uh, they do it all the time. And that's what the business does, where they come in and they set up um, easels and a wine and painting party for people to attend and just have fun. And because they're such animal lovers, they've decided to take us on and let us be a part of it. And the proceeds will benefit the Anti-Cruelty Society. So painting and wine party, and it's called Paint Your Pet. It's pretty cool. So do you actually paint your pet? <laughs> no. We definitely don't paint your pet. Physically paint your pet. What we'll have you do is bring a picture of your pet, preferably printed out. We've had a few problems in the past where people forget to print them out and they're using their cell phones to try and paint their pets from. And it just doesn't work as well because um, it's a lot harder to paint when um, you can't, you have to constantly keep hitting um, refresh on your phone. Um, but we do have local artists walking around to help you paint. Uh, you do not have to be a professional painter by any means. You don't even have to have ever painted at all in your life. Um, you just come you have fun and you paint a picture of your pet that's great um so the fine artists are there to help you along yep. and um what else is included in the event so you you actually show up the event is at this awesome location called catalyst ranch it's in the west loop um it's really creative so it gets your your creative juices going um involved at the event is actually your canvas all of your painting supplies um, all the wine you can drink, all the beer you can drink, as well as um, a lot of munchies, um, hors d'oeuvres, and snacks. So it's, it's, it's a really great deal, and it's a, for a really, really good cause. So we're really excited to be doing it again. Um, and we'll be having one. This one is actually coming up March 18th, but we'll also be having another in September because of the success of the first one. And that'll be our third one, right? Yeah, that'll be our third one. But March 18th, coming up, it's our second Paint Your Pet fundraiser. Um, and if you are interested in, in attending, just email us at events at anticruelty.org. And we actually have some pictures. We do. That we do. Like to share. We'll share some pictures from the last, um, the last Paint Your Pet. Um, these are actually all on our Facebook page, and um, this is this. These are just some of the wonderful artists that we had last year. Again, this was this person particularly. It was her very first time painting, and with the help of all of our local artists, she was able to come home with a masterpiece of her dog. And she said she hung them up. She did. She did. And <laughs> I believe she's coming back for the next one because she had so much fun at the last one. True animal lovers. Yep. And these here are just a few more of our painters in the awesome atmosphere of Catalyst Ranch. So, Emily, do you, can you come by yourself or do you have to have a group? No, not at all. We had actually a lot of people attend by themselves. They were just so excited to be doing it and a lot of their friends just weren't able to do it that night. So. Um, a lot of people came by themselves, uh, and they met a ton of new people, animal lovers just like them, as well as um, new friends. Um, we also do allow kids, as you can see in this photo. Um, kids are allowed. Um, they definitely have to be under supervision because of everything that is also happening that night, but definitely kids are involved. And here's a big picture of everyone who attended with their artworks for the evening. It was fantastic. Actually, this isn't even everyone. We actually had a larger group. We actually had about 60 people, which is what we're accepting this time. 
So registration is mandatory before this event, and we do max out on 60 people. So if you are interested, give us a call at 312-644-8338. The extension is actually 319, and you can contact me directly, or visit our website at www.anticruelty.org, or email us at events at anticruelty.org. All right. Well, it looks like you got a lot of people. So we do. So sure far, we've had a lot of people sign up. So if you are interested, <laughs> definitely email me at events at antichruelty.org and uh, sign up right away. And Or just to get more information. It's awesome. It's a super fun event. And thanks to Bottles and Brushes for again for having us, um, doing this with us again, and Catalyst Ranch for letting us do it at their facility. Great. All right. My name is Caitlin Peters, and I'm the Marketing and Events Coordinator at the Anti-Cruelty Society. And you are watching a live interactive call-in television program on Can TV 21. Emily Ladergerber, Manager of Marketing and Events at the Anti-Cruelty Society, is here with us this evening to discuss our upcoming events. If You can call in also if you have any questions at 312-738-1060. So Emily, another huge upcoming event that we yep. have is Bark in the Park. Our largest fundraiser of the year, and we are so excited because it's our 16th. We've been having it for 16 years. Bark in the Park is a 5K walk with your dog. We generally have 3,000 people, um, excuse me, 3,500 people, <laughs> rain or shine, and 3,000 dogs. So it's a really great, fun event. It's out at Montrose Harbor. And it's on May 1st, so May Day, May 1st, every, the, every first Saturday of the, of, in May of the year is Bark in the Park. So May 1st, it's a Saturday. Come on over and register with us to come to the walk. Easy to remember. May 1st, <laughs> May 1st. So what is involved with Bark in the Park? What's there? We've been doing it for so long that we have got it down to a T. It's a really fun event. It's not only just a walk, and it does benefit the Anti-Cruelty Society and all of our programs and services, but we've got a whole morning of fun and activities and food. So it's a really inexpensive, great event. You show up. You grab your cup of Starbucks coffee in the morning, you get revved up, um, you can arrive at 7 o'clock, that's when our registration actually opens in the morning, but we do actually um, really want you to pre-register because um, then you can come and pick up your packet earlier and you don't have to carry it around for the day, so we would love for you to pre-register, um, but if you don't and you want to show up the day of, you arrive at 7 o'clock, um, the walk actually starts at 9 o'clock. And throughout the entire walk, as well as after the walk, we've got a ton of things going on. We've got a full agility course. We've got a pet intuitive. Her name is Denise Sock. She can read your pet's minds. Um, we've got a pet portraiture. We've got a full activity tent where you can actually come and get doggy tattoos with your dog. Um, and they're mostly on your dog, not on you. It's not a joint effort. Tattoos <laughs> on your dog. Um, and just paw prints and a full day of fun. Plus, we've got a full um, small business pavilion. So you can go around to vendors and grab goodies. And it's just it's just an awesome, really great day. It's my favorite fundraiser of the year, um, as well as a lot of other people. So join us for Bark in the Park on May 1st. You can... Sign up by emailing events at anticruelty.org or you can visit www.barkinthepark.org. That's easy to remember, barkinthepark.org. <laughs> and we actually have pictures of Bark in the Park stuff as well. Many of you may recognize this logo if you are a regular at Bark in the Park. We really, truly do have over 3,500 people and a lot of, of regulars, a lot of people who have been doing this for 16 years along with us. Yes. This is one of the cute pups that came last year wearing his little doggy tee. Supporting the, the cause. Yep, that's the finish <laughs> line. This is a few people walking over the finish line, happy to be done and starting their day of activities. Uh, we also have some great MCs. Uh, Roz Varen is pictured here with her daughter and her two Whippet dogs, but we also have um, Jose Sanders and Bart Shore in attendance for our MCs. Great. It's really fun. Great event. And we're um, always excited to have even more people. So if you are interested, definitely, definitely contact us at, at our website, www.anticruelty.org. 
or go directly to the Bark in the Park website. It's www.barkinthepark.org, and you can actually sign up there or create your own personal fundraising page there and collect pledges. Or call us at 312-644-8338, extension 307, or 30319, excuse me. Either one. Either one. You'll get to us. Yep. Hello, my name is Caitlin Peters, and I'm the Marketing and Events Coordinator at the Anti-Cruelty Society, and you are watching a live interactive call-in television program brought to you on Can TV 21. I'm here with Emily Lettergerber. Mm -hmm. She's the Manager of Marketing and Events at the Anti-Cruelty Society, and today we're talking about all of our upcoming events that you can come along to and bring your pet. Some of them you can bring your pet. Yep. Most of our most of the the events are pet friendly. We so. try and make them. Yeah, we yeah. we, we want to help you guys out in, in finding places to go with your pets for the summer. And so please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions or um, want to know a little bit more about our events. You can call in at 312-738-1060. The bottom are the numbers at the bottom of the screen if you need it. <laughs> So next up on the subject of walking and walking and being active <laughs> one great thing about having pets is they do keep you active so if you aren't necessarily even as active as you'd like to be we're actually starting a marathon team this year it's gonna be our first ever marathon team we're really excited we've got a great program and not only teach can actually teach you to run a full marathon but we've also got it for a half marathon um, the training program is really great. We've got a guy named Coach Mark Busiak, who um, is a 30-time consecutive time Boston Marathon runner who is planning to coach the team. So if you're a beginner, if you are intermediate, or if you're advanced and you've run the Boston several times, Coach Mark is still there and can give you some really great tips on running. Or if you just really have never run a marathon and you really want to do it, Join our team and, and support the animals. Um, it's it's going to be really great. It's a great cause. It's a great cause. You meet a lot of great people, yep. too. And we've got, yeah, you meet a lot of people because our program not only is all about the running, but we actually really, really want to get camaraderie among everyone who is going to be on the team. So not only do you run, but we have summer mixers for the team. We've got spaghetti dinners. The uh, spaghetti dinner for the half marathon is the Friday before the half. And the spaghetti dinner for the full marathon is actually the Friday before the full. And the full Chicago marathon is 10, 10, 10, which is pretty cool. So wow. if, if you want to run a marathon and want to run it on 10, 10, 10, this is your year. Um, the spaghetti dinner plan for that one is 10, 8, 10. October 8th, and is going to be sponsored by Buca de Bipo, which they have, they're wonderful, and they have um, donated full pasta dinners to all of our runners. You can load up on the carbs. And you have, have to load up energy. on the carbs if you're going to run 26.2 <laughs> miles, or even 13.1, which is the half marathon. So, so, you've run the marathon before. I have. It's it's awesome. If you've never done it, it's 45,000 people in the streets of Chicago with an energy level that is unbelievable and all of the people that are cheering you on is just it's it's unbelievable so if you're thinking about it just do it it's it's such a cool unbelievable race um and you don't even have to actually race you can just run it to run it and you feel so good afterward plus because you're running for a great cause and meeting other animal enthusiasts and it's just awesome, and our program is going to be excellent. So if you are interested in signing up for our program, you can email events at anticruelty.org, or you can call me at 312-644-8338, extension 319. Again, my name is Emily, so just call me. Um, we'll, we'll sign you up. We'll get you all the proper paperwork and everything. And get you training for that 26.2 <laughs> miles <laughs> or half. I, I, I know that scares a lot of people, but actually it's it's not that bad. But we do have um, training for the Rock and Roll Half a Marathon as well. So feel free to sign up. It's going to be fun. Yeah, you're not alone in it. Uh, so. You're not alone. You're not alone. And so far we've had a great response of runners. So it looks like our team's going to be pretty big this year. And you'll be among a lot of other people that are in the exact same boat. So That's great. Yes. And now we also have another sporting event coming up. We do. Uh, Fight for Pets tournament. We do. So not only are we doing walking <laughs> and running, we've got a charity volleyball tournament that we are currently planning. Um, 
This tournament is open to all levels, beginner, immediate, and advanced, um, and will be held on April 3rd. So if you are around uh, and want to play volleyball, it's co-ed sixes. Uh, three girls, three guys, um, sign up. We're, we're going to be, um, we have it open until March 22nd. So you must register before March 22nd, but it's a great opportunity, another camaraderie thing. Um, get together six of your friends and come play some volleyball for the pets. Um, again, it is a fundraiser for the Anti-Cruelty Society, and we're lucky enough to work with Spike Volleyball on this program, which a lot of volleyball enthusiasts, if you know volleyball, more than likely you know Spike Volleyball. So um, come on over, join, the, join, the, join a team, and uh, register before March 22nd, and the actual tournament is on April 3rd. Anna, do you have to sign up with a team, or what happens if you, you do don't? have to sign up with the team for this event? Only because it's a lot easier um, to just have your team ready and playing than try and find somebody um, last minute to play with. So we do definitely need you to be with other team members and have people who really want to play volleyball as well. But there are some really excited people who have signed up because this is an event that we've never done before. So, um, nor are there very many volleyball tournaments out there that are for charity. So again, we're really excited. It's one of our new creative ideas. Um, we're getting really athletic <laughs> this year, but we're also getting really creative. So sign up. You can sign up at events at anticruelty.org. Um, or you can call us or call me at 312-644-8338, extension 319, and we will get your whole team signed up. Right. So Spike for Pets, that's what it's called. It's really, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's great. And you also get a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt, and we're actually having an after party for everyone who attends. So it doesn't end with the volleyball. It's going to be a really, it's going to be a full day starting at 9 a.m. The tournament should end around 5 p.m. Um, you are, you will definitely have six games plus playoffs, which is a, a big plus because you know that you're actually, um, you're going to get have a full day of play, and Playing then time. you can go play at the after party. <laughs> <laughs> so great. we're 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 excited. It's it's going to be great. April 3rd, volleyball. Spike right. for pets. Sign up before March 22nd. Yeah, make sure to do that. Yes. Hello, my name is Caitlin Peters, and I am the Marketing and Events Coordinator at the Anti-Cruelty Society. And today we're discussing our upcoming events at the mm -hmm. Anti-Cruelty Society. I'm here with our Manager of Marketing and Events, uh, Emily Letter Gerber. Uh, I invite you to call in with any questions you have about these events or anything else we can help you with at 312-738-1060. And we have a few more events to discuss. We do. Got some laugh your tail off. We do. We're <laughs> another creative, exciting event that we're doing. We are so full of creativity this year on the events team that um, we just can't handle ourselves. No, I'm Not kidding. Um, so we're going to laugh. And what we're doing is we're having a laugh your tail off comedy event at Zany's. We're really, really excited about it. It's going to be on May 20th, which is a Thursday night at Zany's Comedy Club. On in Chicago. In Chicago, yeah. yeah Zany's Comedy, Comedy Club in Chicago to benefit the Anti-Cruelty Society. We're going to have a raffle. We're going to have comedy acts like you've never believed. We, we are so excited. It's going to be such a fun, fun event. Um, you do need to purchase tickets in advance, and actually they are going really, really fast. Yeah. So... I would say within the next couple days, really get your ticket. Um, you can email me at events at anticruelty.com or excuse me, .org, events at anticruelty.org to laugh your tail off. Or you can um, call me at 312-644-8338, extension 319. Um, we just we can't stress it enough. We're so excited. We have some great comedians that have signed on with us, um, and some great opening acts. And we are just thrilled that Zanies is letting us have this event, and that it's going to the animals of the Anti Cruelty Society. So, yeah, have we're excited. Fun. Comedy and event the animals and laugh your tail off. Yeah, <laughs> can't go wrong with that. No, not at all. And then another one of our events: sit, stay, drink. Yes, yeah. um, it is. We changed it up a bit this year. We did change it up a bit. We <laughs> did this event as a test last year, at, and we just tried it out to see what kind of crowd we could get. And the event is a summer mixer series that you can bring your dog to. Um, 
it's really great because right. there's there are very few events out there that you can actually bring your pet to and in the summer when it's warm and you just want to sit out on a patio um, you just want to bring your pet with you too so what we've done is every second Wednesday May June July and August we've started a summer mixer series uh, where you can bring your dog and we're very excited that our first location is going to be at market in the West Loop um, and that's going to be held on Wednesday May 12th and it's going to be from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. the um, it, it's just going to be a really great event. They've got a huge um, awning that actually will go out if it does rain. But if not, they've got a huge patio. They've got a huge rooftop. It's just a really, it's going to be really fun. And they're letting us go inside this year. And they le are letting us go inside. So not <laughs> only are it does the package include drinks, but it also includes food. And if it rains, you can still go inside with your pup, which yeah. is not very common for mostly most of the Chicago locations. No. And all of our events with this series this year yeah. are indoors, so you don't yes. have to worry about rain this year. Yes. <laughs> so keep open May 12th. That's the first one. It's going to be at Market uh, um, in the West Loop, which is a really great venue, and we're really excited to be having it there. Uh, but the series will continue. Um, the second one is also the second Wednesday, but it's the second Wednesday of June, and it'll be at Uncle Fatty's in Lincoln Park. <laughs> it's going to be really fun. Um, again, same deal, same thing, food, uh, beverages, and you can bring your dog. Really excited. So keep every Wednesday, every second Wednesday of May, June, July, and August open because you can come to the Sit, Stay, Drink Summer Drinking Series. The pups are going to love it. The pups are going to <laughs> love it. Uh, and and it's, not, it's just as enjoyable for them as it is for you because they get to meet some of their puppy friends. And yeah. um, now that we're building up a base of regulars, it's interesting because the pets do remember each other. So the people get to remember each other and, and socialize, but then the pets also do too. So it's a good, fun event, and it's great to get your pup out in the summer. Definitely. And what are the other places? We've got a few more. Um, Faith and Whiskey is also going to be having one, and Lincoln Hall is going to be having one. And dates to be determined on Dates are determined on those, but we do know that they are more than likely the second Wednesday of June, or actually of July or August. Yes. Um, the really exciting part of the one at Lincoln Hall is it's also going to be a concert. So we are currently looking for bands, if anyone's out there and interested, <laughs> who wants to play a benefit show for the Anti-Cruelty Society at Lincoln Hall. Um, it's going to be great. Um, we're just really, really excited. Faith and Whiskey came on, and they were as excited as we were, as well as Lincoln Hall. And then Market, of course, is ecstatic, and we, we can't be happier that they wanted to do this with us. So we're really excited really having fun with the, the whole event thing this year and if you are interested in coming definitely email us um, you can email events at anticruelty.society.org excuse me anticruelty.org you can visit us online at www.anticruelty.org or you can call us at 312-644-8338 all of our events are online, and they are listed in our event calendar, so definitely check it out um, and come to some of the really awesome things that we're doing this year. Yeah. Bring your, bring your pet to a lot of these. So yes. you don't have to leave them at home. You don't have to feel guilty not about at not all. spending quality time with them. Exactly. And you get to support a good cause. Yep. I'm sorry to say we have to close our phone lines right now. Um, no more calls, please, at this time. I'm Caitlin Peters, and I am the Marketing and Events Coordinator at the Anti-Cruelty Society. Thank you for joining us this evening on CAN-TV 21. To learn more about the Anti-Cruelty Society and how you can support all the great work we do on behalf of the animals and the community, visit us online anytime at www.anticruelty.org or give us a call at 312-644-8338. I'd also like to thank my guest, Emily Letter Gerber, for sharing these no problem. great events with us this We're evening. We're so excited. <laughs> We're having such a good time this year planning. So Yes, giving us lots to look forward to this yes. summer. And we hope you all enjoyed it at home as well. Join us again next week when we will be discussing more information about the Anti-Cruelty Society. Please stay tuned for the next program to follow in five minutes. Thank you for watching.